I've got a cool project to work on. So my YouTube channel started off when I made a video about my cargo trailer camper conversion. And we had taken a cargo trailer and we had built it out in this really cool camper and I videoed it and it did really well. So that's kind of what sparked my, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. So I've kind of gone a little crazy here and my ambulance is turning into the campulance. And today I'm going to work on installing solar panels on the roof so that I can power a big bad battery inside and a 12 volt air conditioner and project campulence is underway. So what I've got here in my little mini dumper, let me show you. Renogy has sent me three solar panels. These are 120 watt shadow flux series, high efficiency solar modules. Now I opened one, so let me show you what this looks like. So these, I've got cords on it because I've been testing it out. So these solar panels, even if they're partially shaded, they still charge, they still work. So that's what the shadow flux series means because a lot of solar panels when they get partially shaded they don't really work these still do and i have a power center that i plug this into that lets me know just how much it's putting into the power center and i can find out how many watts it's putting in so before we get to that let me show you what i plan to do so i'm going to mount these on the roof of the ambulance renergy also sent me these brackets and these will go onto the roof. The panels will mount to them and they have all this hardware and they can stand up on these brackets and you can tilt them and adjust the position, lock them into that position so that they can get full sun wherever you're parked at. But there's more to that. So I bought on Amazon this kit and what this does is allow the cables for these panels to go into the ambulance without leaking. But there's more. I bought these cables, which come with solar connectors on them. And I think this is 20 foot that I got. So I can run it inside the ambulance and we can have these cables in there. I got some acetone because I'm gonna stick those brackets with this heavy duty, heavy duty double-sided tape. Not only that, but I have three panels. So I got these adapters on Amazon also. And these adapters will let me hook up three panels into one cord. So the three panels will go into the one cord. I'm going to run these parallel so it won't bump up the voltage or anything and it'll stay the same and I'll be able to charge my 12 volt system. I also bought on Amazon <laughs> this kit. So what this kit does is it gives me crimping tools for the solar panels and it gives me all the connectors I need. So I can take my wires and make my own cables and make them the exact lengths that I want. I'll put links in the description for all these products where you can buy them, where you can get these Renogy solar panels and we're gonna see how well they work. So I also got some Scotch-Brite pads to scuff up the roof to get ready for that, that heavy duty double side tape to stick the brackets down. So let me give you a quick tour of what this project will look like. So inside the old campulence, here's what we got going on. Now I do have air conditioning and the air conditioning only works with the engine running. So I've gotta be running my diesel. Inside, we've got a lot of work to do. I've got a little sink. And see all these lights? That middle light is a separate circuit. That's called the cot light. All the rest of the lights are tied together, but this one's separate. So what I'm gonna plan to do is take this light out. We're gonna cut my 14 by 14 hole here. I've already checked it, there's nothing in there. And we're gonna put it in the ceiling. So once that's done, it'll be running a 12 volt setup, right? This is a mess here, but I also have a 460 amp hour battery that's going to be 
plugged into this charger, the charger plugged into a power station, and that power station is going to be fed by the solar panels I'll have on the roof. So that'll all come back in this, kind of see here, this recessed area, it's open. We're gonna pop it in the roof, bring it in here, that's the back side of this cabinet, and pull the wires down, and the solar will plug in here, and then it will charge that. That will charge the charger on the battery. Battery will run the 12 volt. I also have a big bad power cord. We're gonna run that down underneath, and that's gonna go out back. That's going to power my cargo trailer. It's gonna plug in right here, and it's gonna keep my battery charged. And with that plugged in, I've got my 110 fridge. We've got all the lights. This is this is under construction. You know, I can run my microwave. I can I've got my uh my Murphy bed there because we parked side by sides in here, but you know, kitchen lights. We've got the full bathroom up front there. So all of this will be powered by that. But step number one is I need my solar panels. So I'm gonna pull the solar panel out right now, set it up here on my little track dumper, and we're gonna see how much it charges. It's really hard to read in the sun, but you can see I'm at 55% right now. So we need a little bit more, more juice. So I've taken all three solar panels out of the package and they're all laid out here in the sun. And then what I've done, just temporarily, I've taken this uh, adapter and I've taken all the positives and I've put them all together. And then I took all the negatives and I put them all together. So they all flow into one cord, which go into this box. And right now we're drawing 258 watts is what we're charging at. So uh, four hours to charge this up from 56%. Because, uh, yeah, it's charging. Solar. Awesome. So with this, I've got 110 plugs. It's got a whole bunch of USBs on the front. And I've got one of these. I don't know what you call it, but it's like for a battery tender. You can plug stuff in and a normal uh, accessory plug. So... That's all being run off the solar. So just for a little experiment, we got it down to one panel. We're at 87 watts. Okay? That's what we're putting in. And it's a 120 watt panel, but they have to be angled right. So depending on the angle that you have it, see how it's changing? See now I've got 100 watts? Because I've got it at an angle. 105 watts it just depends where you put it so laying flat it does work but now I'm down to 82 83 watts being put in so just something interesting to note that the angle does matter so those angle brackets they gave me when I put the, the them on the roof of the ambulance I need to make sure I have them pointed the right direction and then I can pop them up and I can get full solar charging. Today's not the day I'm gonna get these actually put on the roof and installed. I thought I was. I'm running out of time. It's four o'clock. I still gotta put all my machines away. And uh, well, that's good. That was a good test though. I've got those out. I've made sure all my stuff works. And so I'm gonna lay them all up on the roof. I'm gonna figure out how to set those up there uh, which which angle I want them because I know I'm gonna have the air conditioner up in that area and then uh, I don't know I might have do the solar up front I'm, I might do them on the rear I don't, I'm not sure but I do know I want to come down in this area with the wire and we'll see how they work there's kind of an introduction for you today on a series I'm gonna do on building the campulants and the cargo trailer camper because my plan for these is for this YouTube channel I want to go do some collaborations with some other guys out of town. What's the best way to do that? Campulants. Bring a camper 
And then the camper, it's a toy hauler. I can bring my machine, so I'm still gonna hit that content. But uh, with these companies reached out and they wanted to know if I wanted to test their products, I said, sure, why not? So far, I'm very impressed with the solar panels, but more updates to come. I'm gonna get them installed on the roof and I'm gonna test them over time and see if they work. It would be amazing if we could keep that whole system charged and keep it separate from the starting system on the ambulance because with that 12 volt air conditioner I'm gonna put on, I don't want it to suck down any of my battery for starting it. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate every single one of you. More to come on this project because uh, Project Campulance I think is gonna be really cool for me and hopefully it helps a bunch of you guys too. And maybe if you wanna build your own, you can get some ideas from what I'm doing. I actually do have a buddy who's doing a ambulance camper. I don't even want to call it the campulance because it's it's such a high quality build. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> like his his build is, is unbelievable. He and his wife are just going all out. They've got a YouTube channel called The Freedom Adventure, but check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's really cool. He's just starting off on YouTube and uh man he's really got some good content thanks for sticking around i appreciate you all and uh enjoy your time in the trees as usual don't forget that like and subscribe it really matters to me have a great day